John Muir once said, In the mountains of San Gabriel, Mother Nature is most ruggedly, thornily savage. And he's totally right. The San Gabriel Mountains are one of the most impressive mountain ranges that I've ever seen. They're wild, they're rugged, they are tall, they're deep, they're jagged, they're deeply cut by running water. And it's all in the backdrop of the second largest city in the United States, Los Angeles. This all makes the Angeles Crest Highway all the more impressive. It winds 66 miles through the San Gabriel Mountains, and its grade never exceeds 6.5%. Its curves are never that extreme, and it climbs thousands of vertical feet. I should note that the Angeles Crest Highway was largely constructed by homeless men in the Depression era and from criminals from San Quentin. The road's construction began in 1929, and it wasn't complete until 1956. There was a little break during World War II, but beyond that, it just took a long time to construct this road. Since I visited in January during the wet season, right after a slew of atmospheric rivers, the hills and the mountains were lush, they were green, the air was moist, the air was cool, the clouds were beautiful. It made for an all-around wonderful experience driving this road. It was not hot and dusty like you might experience other times of year. And yes, you can see running water in the canyons below. The rivers were running. This highway, like many highways in California, has been shuttered due to landslides in the past. But since this is such a high value highway, it's constantly being maintained and repaired, and that's why it's in such great shape today. The same cannot be said of many other scenic byways in the area. <clears throat> California State Route 39. California State Route 39 is a road I drove recently that is very dilapidated, not maintained, lots of graffiti, and all around not taken care of as much as the Angeles Crest Highway is. However, there is a lot of scenic value to State Route 39 that you can't get on the Angeles Crest Highway, namely big reservoirs, big off-highway vehicle areas, and a few other things. But the Angeles Crest Highway is important because, like I said earlier, it connects the LA Basin to the Mojave Desert, usually, but not when I was there. It just so happens that there was, I think, a seasonal road closure, so this highway ended up being cut off at Islip Saddle which is its junction with California State Route 39. And you cannot drive from Islip Saddle down State Route 39 back to the LA Basin because as I explained in a different video I've made, the last four miles of State Route 39 have been closed since 1978 due to landslides. So I was planning to drive straight to the Mojave Desert. I wanted to get out to the Victorville Apple Valley area. That ended up not being able to happen. I had to turn back while I was driving State Route 2 and get back on the freeway, which was a disaster because of traffic and everything. Um, I didn't realize that traffic would be so bad on the interstates going out of Los Angeles in the evening on a weekday, but you learn things every day, I suppose. So there's a sign that says the road closed 24 miles ahead. That's on State Route 2, but it was just fantastic views all around. I was in the clouds. I was above the clouds, and it was worth it for Sure. Although the Angeles Crest Highway is a lot more maintained than Highway 39, that comes at a price, and that price is that it's a lot more trafficked. There were a lot of people on the Angeles Crest Highway when I visited it, and the same cannot be said of Highway 39, at least on the weekdays. As I stated earlier, I visited after a period of rain and snow, and that means that there were plenty of ephemeral waterfalls right along the roadside, and that was really beautiful to see. There was also snow on the peaks. I think it's Mount Wilson, the high mountain that I drove past that I saw the bulk of the snow on Mount Wilson. There might be a ski area there. I know there's some ski areas in other places of the mountains here, but in any case, a beautiful area. And it's just a fun road to drive. I will be back someday to drive the full length of the road, hopefully to drive from the desert to LA or the other way around. But I couldn't do it this time and that's okay. More opportunity to come back and see it again. That's California State Route 2, the Angeles Crest Highway, the highway that goes through the San Gabriel Mountains just northeast of the city of Los Angeles. It might be California's most 
beloved highway. Let me rephrase that. It might be Southern California's, one of Southern California's most beloved highways because I know there are plenty other highways people enjoy, whether it's the Pacific Coast Highway or whatever. I do like the Azusa Canyon, the State Route 39 area. That's another good one. But anyways, there's State Route 2, the Angeles Crest Highway. Thanks for watching.